So this past summer, I was able to go into a couple churches and record impulse responses. This is an easy way to take the acoustic imprint of a space. So you blow up a balloon, you pop it, you record it, and then that sound, once you edit it, you can put it into digital audio workstations or audio editors, and they have a tool, which is a reverb, which allows you to take that and use that sound of the space. So what you've seen on the screen are two different locations, and this one has a little bit more information here. You can see where my microphone is located. You can see in the front where the balloon is. When he pops that balloon, you're going to hear the sound. And so then we did it there, we did it to the left, we did it behind the altar, and then we did one in the back of the space too, just below the organ. All of these give us different information and allow us to have the sound of the hall from different places. So the editing is actually pretty simple. Once you have that recording, we used a little Zoom stereo recorder. Once you have that, you just import it in, you trim it down to the edges, and you can see I'm going to zoom in pretty far on this one just to make sure it's right at the beginning. Make sure that the tail or the end of it has enough space so you get the entire reverb. I'm also going to do one additional step. It wasn't as loud as it could have been on the recording. Pretty good, but I'm actually going to normalize it so that it goes all the way up to full volume. Once you have that, then you can actually export that little chunk as a brand new audio file and that becomes our impulse response. Once we have that, we can take this into any reverb which accepts impulse responses and use that sound. This is still a really cool way to engage with the spaces that you're around and also make some of those spaces your own in terms of your production toolkit. So you can see now in Logic Pro 10, I imported that and we're gonna listen now to the actual samples from both of these. Oh. 